Hi friends, welcome to Cloudophilic. Today we are going to discuss on topic DevOps branching strategies. So let's get started. So today's agenda is first we'll uh, let me talk about uh, what is branching strategies, why we need it. Then we are going to uh, cover common DevOps branching strategies. So need for branching strategies. A properly implemented branching strategies will be the key to creating an efficient DevOps process. DevOps is focused on creating a fast, streamlined and efficient workflow without compromising the quality of the end product. So a branching strategies help define how the delivery team functions and how each feature improvement or bug fix is handled by team. How we can choose a correct branching strategies. So this depends upon the user and project requirement. It should simplify the DevOps process rather than making it more complex. Few of the criteria are like it should provide clear path to project from initial changes to production deployment. So this actually enable faster release cycle. Common DevOps branching strategies starting with Git flow. So in Git flow we have primary branches and support branches. In primary branches, we have master branch and dev branch. Master branch is the primary branch where all the production code is stored. All the final releases would happen from this branch. Dev branch, this is where all the actual development happens all the supporting branches get merged here. In the support branches, we have feature branches which are used to develop new features and branches of exclusively from the development branch. We also have a hotfix branch. This is basically to deal with production issues where quick fixes are required. Then we have a release branch. This branch is used to aggregate fixes and improvements and prepare for the production release. Another strategy is GitHub flow. So GitHub flow, we have one master, which is the primary branch where code is branch of from and must to anything in the master branch is deployable. Any change feature or bug is made in the new branch derived from the master with a descriptive branch name describing the development branch. So basically we can create a new branch out of master. We can do our changes we can commit to our local and then we can push to the master branch and then the master would be deployed for production. Then we have a trunk based development strategies. So in trunk based strategies, this involves developer integrating their changes directly into a shared trunk, trunk in the sense master. So share trunk at least once a day. So everyone check in their code at least once a day in their in the share trunk. So this share trunk is always in a released releasable state we can say. Last strategy is GitLab. So GitLab flow development happens in one of these environmental branches and verified and tested code 
which is merge to other branches until they reach the production branch. So I hope this very basic tutorial gives you some fair idea about branching strategies. Of course, this is not a detailed one, but at some point later, we will discuss all these in detail in separate videos. So please don't forget to like, share, subscribe my YouTube channel. Also, please feel free to write me on my email ID. Any suggestions are always welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.